What's up everybody, we're Marco and Alex, the Valga Brothers, and these legs belong to our new Finnish wives. Hello! That's because right now we're at one of the world's wackiest sporting events, the Finnish Wife Carrying World Championships. Let's do it! The Wife Carrying World Championships is one of the most bizarre sporting events in the world. You take your wife, sling her over your shoulder, and complete a 250 meter obstacle course for the chance to win your wife's weight in beer. Supposedly, it began in the 1800s when the legendary Finnish robber Ronkainen and his band of thieves would steal food and women from neighboring villages, barebacking the booty through the Finnish forest to become their wives. In modern times, wife carrying has become an annual competition in Sonkajärvi, Finland. One that was so weird, we knew we had to take part. But there was one problem. We didn't have wives. So, being 21st century romantics, we crowdsourced them, making a video on YouTube that said this. So, ladies of Finland, will you marry us? If just for one day. A couple of days later, a message in our inbox from Nelly and Ani, two beautiful Finnish girls who offered to be our human backpacks and our wives for the day. We started training in California and even tried stealing someone's wife. But things didn't quite go as well as planned. Can't do this. This is Los Angeles. With a pissed off husband on our tail, we waved goodbye to America and fled to Finland. We arrived and realized we still had a lot of training to do. But it was too little, too late. On the eve of the contest, the only preparation we could do was meet our wives. Our brand new wives, brides to be, for the wife carrying competition. Brand new, as if we had old ones, I don't <laughs> We did our best to smooth over the inevitable awkwardness of online marriage. Hey! How's it going? Mark. Hey! Nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Doing well? Say hello to yeah. everyone. Hi! <laughs> so we decided to break the ice the best way we knew how, by shoving our faces right between their thighs. <laughs> This is the Estonian method, and supposedly it's the most efficient. We'll see. <laughs> push it! Push it! Push it! I think we're gonna That's win. Crazy. Yeah, we're gonna win. <laughs> Girls, high fives all out. Boom, boom, boom. The morning of the race, we boarded the bus to Shonkiarvi and asked our wives what they had done to prepare for the race. Nothing. We just try to eat a little less so we yeah. don't wait that much. <laughs> and we hope our husbands are not gonna drop us. Yeah. <laughs> so. We're trusting you. Yeah. Down at the race, 60 couples from around the world gathered at the starting line to weigh their wives and scope out the course. First up, a short jump, then a jump into a chest deep pool, trudging through water without drowning your wife. After that, an uphill sprint to a waist-high log, a 50-meter dash, followed by another log, and a final charge to the finish line. We'd be competing in heats of three couples at a time, some of them taking it super seriously, and others, not so much. Alex was in the second heat, so we strapped the GoPro onto his head and wished him luck. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. I'm in first, I'm in first. Oh, Meanwhile, the crowd swelled, the temperature soared, and competition grew fierce. Some men triumphed, others brought to their knees, broken. Mark was placed in the final round for the last race of the day. One with a funny twist. Okay, so we just got some funny news. We're actually going up against the world champion. Number 52. This dude's a beast. He's won it a ton of times. He's gone around the world as the ambassador for Finnish wife hearing. And, uh, well, there's that. So. Yeah, so now I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> this is David versus Goliath. Marco one on one against the world champion. <laughs> From United States. Shit, what have I got myself into? 
It's a bit heavier than my backpack, but here goes nothing. Go, on, bro, go, go, on, bro, go, go, go. Get your legs together, tighten them up. Here we are. Just hop over the hurdle. Oh, that's harder than it looks. Crap, he's already crossed the finish line. Forget him. Just make it to the end without farting in Annie's face. Hold it in. There we go. Oh, now I can drop her on her head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit tired, you know, but we did our best. Uh, definitely had some problems in the pool. We were almost slipping drowned in the pool. But we made it out. Job, bro. Literally the last person to finish the race of the day, so I think we had the crowd with us. David versus Goliath. Well, you know, we did what we could. Great job, bro. Great job. Yeah. Well, we didn't finish first, and we didn't get last. We landed in the middle of the pack. Not too shabby for going up against the likes of Finnish Thor and Hercules. From proposal, to marriage, and divorce, our love was short-lived. But we had a great time with our temporary wives, meeting some of the quirkiest couples on the planet. For now, the only thing we'll be carrying are backpacks. At least, until next year. Well, that was the Finnish World Wife Carrying Championship. Super crazy, but really fun. Thank you, Nelly and Annie, for volunteering to be our wives. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for new travel videos every Tuesday. Hyvää matkaa! Moi moi! Bye!